Shout out to Supersonic X because I'm trying to get him to 1k subscribers. So anyway, let's start the video. What's up, bros and Zandix fans? We're on to our tour went wrong in the best ways possible by Dan Animations. She uploaded a new video, animation video, about how their tour, you know, you know, her, her, um, Jan, Jan, um, um, Jan Animation, um, that one's out. Dom, I'm pretty sure Dominix and some other two people, I think named Ron and Aaron, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do um, maybe, yeah, I do. Yeah, guys, I do watch some of their um, videos. You know, I, yeah, no, I watch the Islands out and I watch the animations and I, I know Dominix is. I watch them. Not all the time, but still, I watch them. But yeah, so anyway, they were on a tour. Um, you know, they was going all over the place. You know, it was called Scribble Showdown. Scribble Showdown, something. I don't know. So they just went to a whole bunch of places. You know, I think. You know, you know, drawing. How did they had to draw something? I don't, I don't know. Make animation and show people how they did it. Or something. I, I don't know. How, I don't know how they went. I, I ain't even go. You know, so J Animations upload a new video. So we are gonna to it. So it's official on Instagram. Subscribe. Well, uh, kind of sit this video. In three, two, one. We're and cheese. As some of you might know, James, Dom, Ross, Aaron, and I went on a tour back in October doing a show called Scribble Showdown. It was the yeah, first I actually said all right. Been on besides Aaron because he didn't wait for us. The shows were all super fun, and we all yeah, enjoyed guys, touring. Some people told me it was actually fun. Honestly, actually, it was the most entertaining. Some thing people I've done on YouTube. While. But this video isn't YouTube. about the shows. It's about the in-betweens. We had to perform in Boston, Brooklyn, Austin, San Francisco, Medford, Seattle, and Portland, all within 11 days. <laughs> so you know that those off times are gonna get a little hectic. While and we're just it's gonna to be hard to go all over the place because some of them actually the takes like hours and hours. So, to yeah. our destinations. Boston and Brooklyn had no out of the ordinary stuff going on besides the fact Ross, Dom, and I were super addicted to Pokemon Go and we're spinning Poke stops left and right. To Come get on, go! Don't worry. It Guys, do people still, still play Pokemon Go? I actually haven't been playing that. To download it and get addicted with us. We arrived in Austin on the 3rd, and this Damn. was our first completely free day. Ross and Aaron really wanted to get some Texan barbecue, so we all went to dinner at this little barbecue chain they heard was really good. Everyone got their food, and we're in heaven. Except for me, because vegan check. But honestly, it did wow. look really good, and I was glad they were enjoying it. Afterwards, Aaron and James wanted to go to a card shop for Magic the Gathering cards since a new pack was coming out. So we headed over there, and Ooh. one of the employees' names was Jojo, and he was a dog, and I miss him. The next day, we got into and the van. I, and the I actually like the name Jojo because, you know, jo so Jojo. Did anyone That's a good anime. Night Watch last it. Night. Turns out, Ross, Dom, and Aaron all got food poisoning from their barbecue. James and I were safe because I didn't eat any, and I don't know, I guess James is a weird. The next free day we had was in San Francisco. Oh, uh, so it was hard for them, it was hard for them to perform, except so for, um, you know, James, because he didn't even get food poisoning. So instead of finding a laundromat, we headed over to a Target nearby to just buy new ones. After shopping a bit, we noticed there was a huge arcade right next to us. Ooh. Of course. We went in. Aaron and Dom played some DDR, but what caught Ross and James's eyes was this big, elaborate VR setup where the players are strapped into these adult baby walker looking things. I mean, anyone with eyes could tell this I thing mean, was jank as hell, but that just made it more essential to play. Ross, I Guys, who doesn't love VR? Someone told me who doesn't love VR. Like, you can just move around, you know, play any games, like... Like beat saber, saber. I don't know. <laughs> like, and I think I understand why you know they actually had that you know adults or kids whatever um in that. Well, it's because when you're playing VR, since you know it's virtual reality, you don't, they don't want you you know like hitting people walking around. You know, probably you know hitting people hitting the machine. So I mean, if you think about it, that actually is that actually does make sense for them to actually put. Um, whoever whoever is playing the VR and in, into that machine or whatever walk or whatever because they don't want you know them to do something violent because you know if they yeah. could play which which the guy said they needed arcade cards to scan so they went and did that and when they came back the guy was finishing up working at the bumper car booth looked over at us and just walked out of the arcade and left he just walked out and said nope 
Rude. We got another person over, and Ross and James got set up, and I think the hey. video explains the whole thing. Ooh. What game are you playing? <laughs> See, guys, I told you, that's the reason. They don't want him moving. Oh, uh, he's now so running. We switched over you know to travel by tour bus, which we were all super excited for. There were 12 bunk beds, two lounge areas, a TV where we all played Smash on, and one bathroom. The yeah, only guys. main room. Nintendo, put Waluigi and Dante and Smash. I won't get into details, but technically, you can put If you bunk guys bus, hear a dog barking, but you essentially it's my destroy dog. it from the inside out. So no pooping on the bus. This is the pinnacle of luxury. Given that information, we all got mild poop anxiety. As soon as you're told you can't poop within a certain window of time, it becomes your body's personal goal to aim for those hours and those hours only. Luckily, James, Dom, Aaron, and I were okay, but it hit Ross hard. Maybe it was the fact he got the worst case of food poisoning out of all of us, but he mm. couldn't poop if his life depended on Okay. It. Idea for not pooping. Just don't eat a lot. That's the thing. And he was thing. scared. By the time we got to Oregon, he was going crazy. Guys, I've I've got to poop today. I I don't know what I'm going to do. We all checked into the motel rooms. Our tour manager Matt booked for us to shower and finally do laundry, and had a bit of time to spare. So as the friends we are, we decided to dedicate it to trying to help Ross poop. Aaron shared some poop exercises he said always helped him, and I pulled up this song on YouTube my friend showed me that was titled "Music That Makes You Poop." And with all variables combined, I think it was working. Really trying to poop right now. You can't poop on the bus, dude. You gotta get, you gotta, you gotta get it out before you get on the bus. You know, they, they just accept the tank and handle the poop. What is this music? The bus takes off. So the bus takes off. You gotta wait for the next stop. So I don't wanna wake up in the middle of the night and have to shit the bag and throw it out the window. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna litter. I wanna be the big boy. I wanna take the big. After that whole ordeal, Ross it just Dom, sounded James, like so much. Aaron stayed in the bus to build some magic. It, sound, it just sounded like someone just pulling on a string. Sketchy. The laundry room sink in the motel had a marijuana in it. So Ross found a knife oh, and we held it yeah, while catching a bunch of shroomish. It was well worth it because James, Ross, and I all found shiny Pokemon at the exact same time. By the time we got back, James and Aaron were really hungry. Ross, Dom, and I got Taco Bell, but we also all had that this morning, so James wanted to try and find something else to have, which was a mission failed. So he and Aaron went out to get Taco Bell, but by the time they walked over to it, only the drive through was open. They tried to just walk closed. into the window, but to no avail. They didn't have enough characteristics to pass as a car, so they had to turn to the only option they had call an uber to go through the drive through in or get someone it else works. to do it and just give them the money i'm just kidding because then they're gonna rob you and just take the food dinner. we were living like kings over here in seattle we got to the theater and matt reserved another room for us to shower in at the hotel next to the venue i wanted to wash my face and ross wanted to freshen up Jesus. so as we were walking out to go to the room matt grabbed us and said look when you walk in don't talk to the concierge or anything. Don't even look at anyone. Just go straight to the elevator and head up to the room. So we're like, okay. We walked Wait, in and did exactly Wait, why that did he set. tell didn't you guys that anyone. anyway? Didn't even breathe in anyone's direction. No oxygen was stolen. Just went over to the elevator, pressed the button, and then out of nowhere, the manager pops out of a mystery door right next to us that we didn't even know was a door and goes, what room are you going to? Dude, he was like an NPC in a video game that teleports in front of you to prevent you from going out of bounds. Ross and I were stunned and just went up 601 and the manager goes, you're not the person who booked that room. I've known every guest in their respective rooms in this hotel since 1970. Is that the reason why he told you just- You're not allowed in there. No visitor policy. What kind of hotel has a no visitor policy? It's a hotel. So of Visitors course you want to have- is there okay, this whole time must be so stupid. We went back yeah, to Matt mind. and explained what happened. One of the managers at the theater went over to talk to the manager in the hotel because the hotel owns the venue. But the thing that was really annoying to us was that we were the ones who were performing at the venue, which directly affects the amount of rooms they sell. I, I should give them some slack, though. To their credit, they did tell us they'd let one more of us go in the room if we paid a fee of $80. So, not to name drop or anything, mm -hmm. but what I recommend recommend you stay at the hotel next to the Moore Theater in Seattle. 
No, but the theater was really nice to us, and the Seattle just, audience just, was wow. great. Before each show, we had a VIP Q and A section. So when we finish that, we have like an hour before the actual show, and during that one in between hour, there was a Mewtwo raid in Pokemon Go. Which doesn't happen too often. So you already know that Dom Ross, James, and I were frothing at the mouth. We, oh my God, we gotta get that Mewtwo. We gotta After get that Mewtwo. Mewtwo. They'll no, be the strongest. Walked off stage, and when we were out of sight, literally bolted out the back door of the venue and ran down the street to a Mewtwo raid. By the time we finished it, there was a crowd of like 30 people also catching Mewtwo. Shit. Not people who watch our videos, just oh, normal okay. people who all just wanted a taste of the Neutron style. We all caught a Mewtwo. Why did that just look like Jimmy Neutron <laughs> when it starts? So there was a march of 30 people just playing Pokemon Go, working together to I get I guess people Mewtwo's still do play Pokemon Go. I'm shocked. I thought I've people would stop playing for after some also, reason. Also, James caught a shiny three star totally all by himself. Ross definitely didn't need to help him. And hey. made us all jealous. The tour was so fun. I couldn't have chosen a better group of friends to travel and do a show with. The team that helped us this, was amazing, this, and the show this story was so sounded cool. interesting. Every city had an amazing audience, especially the ones where I won, and it was a really surreal experience. Um, this sound, this really sounded interesting. This. <laughs> so first they have a poo, and then you know they wanted to keep eating. The music that this music that that makes that makes <laughs> it's just like someone just pulling on a string and then there's like this the story is just <laughs> I really want to thank you for helping me get to this point and I still can't believe I get to do this crazy awesome stuff for a living. Yep. So now you might be I'm going to rewatch this video. That sounded like a great tour. I'm sad I missed it. Well, this end card is the one for you because we're actually doing two more Scribble Showdown tours. In July, we're going to Phoenix, San Antonio, Kansas City, Minneapolis, Chicago. Okay, Cincinnati, in July, that's when you know everyone's out of summer. October, <laughs> everyone's out of school, so maybe I'll check it out. Atlanta, Nashville, Washington, Brooklyn, and London. Let's go. They're going to Brooklyn, so, so maybe here, I could probably see them out. Why not stop by and see the show? Get tickets at Scribble I might, st I might stop by. See you there. Also, I'm recording this on my phone because I don't have my microphone right now. Ha! Hmm. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, those are guys. Let's get five. We'll upload that kind of stuff. Guys, if you actually did went to Scribble Showdown, tell me, was it good? Was it bad? Because <laughs> I'll actually like to hear some people's, you know, experience to going to that. Because I actually never went either, so, you know. But either though, that was a funny video. Also, I can't believe people actually still play Pokemon Go. I'm really shocked. I have to, like, guys, guys, to tell you the truth, I actually thought people stopped playing that. Because, you know, it caused deaths and stuff. So I thought people stopped playing that. Now people will probably stop playing that because people don't want to go outside because of the coronavirus, which. I don't talk about that on my channel that much because I just don't want to, so, you know. Because I don't think it's going to affect me that much, but well, it does. So, but anyway, guys, yeah, that was real. Hope you guys are helping. It's good. It's fine. We'll upload a new video. Consider it. Don't forget to check out my last two videos. I reacted to the new Flying Kitty video and a new um, SNU4 video. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are helping. It's good. It's fine. Consider it. So, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.